All right, so we're officially live with the boy, yeah. boy West Coast. How you yeah, feeling, my dude? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm chilling. I don't know we're live yet, but yeah, what's up? No, no. it's cool to vibe out and shit. Everything before we started. Like, yeah, yeah, we got a little bit of a Cinco de Mayo vibe <laughs> back here. You were claiming that you were gonna show up in what, like a mariachi band costume or some shit? Oh yeah, I was fucking yeah, because it was Cinco de Mayo. I was fucking around. I was gonna come with my poncho and fucking sombrero, looking like the top of Theo guy. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, do you have like fond memories of of this holiday from your childhood? Because I'm gonna admit, as a white person from the East Coast. Not something I was necessarily culturally in touch with. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Um, and as a kid, now nah, I mean, like I, as a child, I probably just remember like drunken uncles and aunts, drunken family members. And as a teenager, I was usually like, um, I was usually like locked up on this holiday or something. Usually. For real, you been in and out of jail your whole life? No, nah, just throughout like from like 13 to 18, 19. Okay. Yeah. How old are you right now? 24. 24. Okay. So, yeah, that's one of the craziest things I think about you is just the fact that you are a product of Santa Barbara. Yeah. And Santa Barbara, for people who don't live oh, in California. No, oh, you can look at me. It's all good. Don't just chill. Um, the, the, the the Santa Barbara connection that kind of like helps explain maybe where you're coming from. For anybody who's from California or lives in California, might know it's a very special region of the country. Yeah, yeah, dope, man. It's like a little. It's got like the little big city vibe, but just in a small town with a lot of beaches, a lot of college students and shit. It's yeah, crazy. it was very a little bit of everything. Very uh, laid back, chill place. But I feel like there's not a whole lot of like musical success stories out of Santa Barbara. Nah, <laughs> yeah, not a lot of big people, or big name artists have come out besides maybe Katy Perry. Katy Perry's one. Yeah, Katy Perry. Yeah, she went to Galita. She went to DP. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah. You yeah. know Katy Perry from Mesley? I did not no, know that Katy Perry um, was from there. I actually know almost nothing about Katy Perry except that the thing that she did with Migos was terrible. I didn't even know she did anything. Like she did I know like, from like Good Girls. She did a performance with oh. them that was disastrous. Oh yeah. It was so awkward. Yeah. No yeah, offense like, to Santa Barbara. I don't want to act yeah. like I'm. Fucking, oh no. That has nothing to do with Santa Barbara. That just you don't think that doesn't, that doesn't draw <laughs> a line in the sand or anything. No, no, her performances don't. It's not going to affect the city. I don't think. You don't think? <laughs> All right. Cool. Or my <laughs> opinion point. of her might not even affect her <laughs> career. We're, we're, we're not sure. The data's not in yet. Yeah. Yeah, this might I be. Was, a, I wasn't even aware of this performance. Took, can you actually ask the DJ to turn the music down a little bit more, just because it's like kind there's of a party weird. going on back. There is a party. <laughs> there's people. There's, there's probably upwards of eight people back there partying right now, which is kind of a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna dive in after this. So yeah, we're definitely we're gonna turn up. We're gonna crack some Modellos and everything. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the big plan. Um, okay, so so tell me about. Uh, your upbringing what, what was it like growing up you grew up in santa barbara yeah i grew up in santa barbara um yeah throughout my childhood and then like my teen years when i was getting in trouble i'd like move out of state my family would send me to like different states for a little while to try to like you know right. lay low what, get out of trouble. what were your parents like my parents my, my parents were cool my dad was like uh like he was a uh, straight up like uh, marine kind of fool. Like, oh, he was in okay. the marines, so yeah. Law, so he was kinda, law and order, discipline yeah, kind of like guy. He was a hard ass. Yeah, he was like, I get locked up and like it'd be my day to get released, and he like wouldn't come pick me up. He was like one of those fools. Really? Yeah. So he wanted to make you kind of tough it out. Yeah, he was one of those. Wow, interesting. Okay, what was your mom like? My mom was like, she was kind of the, she was like you know the motherly type. She was like, a, she was like a chola chick when she was a kid so i mean so she grew up in that environment she, so she always knew what was up were you ever she always like hide us and shit you ever huh? a chola a cholo? cholo sorry oh. yeah i, I don't change just, it yeah i don't just dress like this <laughs> <laughs> wait but this this counts as a cholo like look right okay because no. i don't really know when i think cholo in particular when i think about the girls and shit well i guess, like, oh, I guess mostly i just think up? about the like girls the, yeah like the old school 60s style on their hair i like it shit. i like the eye makeup yeah i'm not yeah some homegirls still do it like that yeah not that i'm like it's kind of like a unique vibe it's I, kind of like a unique style now i like the tattooed on eyebrows too a tattooed on yeah some girls still do that it's kind of like uh it's kind of like considered like a rockabilly now really almost, oh I yeah think, it's like, kind of part of that it's like scene. a throwback thing yeah it's kind are of you into any of that music uh rockabilly shit no i've never or like it's like what is that like old school? Uh, it's like, like fucking dur, 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 fucking like hit him with the twist type music. Is that rockabilly? <laughs> kind of. It's like yeah. got like a punk like oh, okay. thing no, going. I'm, I'm not even aware of like other music. One time I was hanging out with a girl though, and we went to a tattoo convention. And it was like a fucking weird ass rockabilly thing, and I just remember feeling so like isolated and shut out because I didn't have like suspenders or like you well, know. You, like, you didn't have the handlebar mustache, so you were the, I was you not were the outcast. Fixed up enough <laughs> at all. My <laughs> kit was up. not working in comparison to everybody else at that thing. Um, okay, so. When, when did you start getting in trouble or what were you like as a kid? Oh, no, as a kid, um, I mean, I was a normal kid. Like, I got good, even when I was locked up, I got good grades. Like, I'd be on honor roll. Like, uh -huh. even in, like, boot camps and shit, I was still getting on the honor roll and you stuff. You were still so doing still, good in school, but you were yeah. just getting in trouble? Yeah, we were just, like, locked up, but, I mean, I could still get good grades. I was still, like, I still had, yeah, I was always good at school. What, what, what kind of stuff were you doing? 
Um, to get in trouble. Oh, I mean, no, nah, I mean, once you're on probation as a kid, I mean, any little thing, like fucking, like a, you know, test dirty for marijuana, you just fucking, like, you know, fucking getting caught up with the homies just at the wrong time. Just really? like being, like, um, hanging out with other gang members, you'd like, just any, any little ass thing. You never had anything super serious, though, in terms of, uh... Nah, like, I was always just, like, the stupid, like, I was just one of those knuckleheads that would, like, I'd be on EM for, like, 30 days, and, like, there'd be, like, a fucking party or, like, some crazy shit, and I would just, like, you know, cut off the EM breast and just go on the run for a couple months or something. Really? Bounce were, out of state or something. Were you partying? Were you, like, yeah, well, doing yeah, a whole part- bunch of drugs? You, nah, I didn't really do... Well, <laughs> <laughs> well nah, actually, some of the craziest parties I've ever been to were in Iowa when I was over there. Yeah, Dude, that's where you day. took off? Or were you, like, in hiding, basically? Yeah, I'd go, yeah, but, like... Um, but I was still able to, like, go to high school out there, too. So, really? Like, I was younger. Yeah, so, like, over here, I'd be, like, considered a fugitive, but over there, like, they weren't going to pay to transport me, so they would just let me go to school. Right. Really? Wow. <laughs> but they knew that you were kind of on yeah, the they land? Knew, yeah, they knew, like, over here, like, yeah. Wow, but that's exciting. They're not going to pay to transport you unless you, like, murdered somebody. Right. So, you never, you never did that? You never murdered nah, anybody? Murder. <laughs> you don't want to confess to anything right now? <laughs> He's like, what? He's like, this, 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 this all of a sudden took a weird well, turn. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the interview question I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Listen though, we got we got to leave no stone unturned, my friend. <laughs> stone unturned. We're gonna find out. I like that. Oh phrase. shit! The donations. Are, oh no no, I can. Uh, I'll just what turn the that? sound down. That was just like uh, when people donate, it makes a crazy ass noise, and I always forget to press the button to turn it off. They donate like mid interviews or? Yeah, because at 8 p.m. tonight, I'm gonna be going on live stream and playing. Like I play their songs. During Game of Thrones or what time's Game of Thrones? Right after Game of Thrones, because Game of Thrones is on at six. I'm just watching Game of Thrones tonight. Yeah, which you've never seen. I've never watched it. You could I've be a Dothraki. I, was, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> is just, it the facial features? It's, you, it's, it's just the, the most savage fucking tribe of motherfuckers who just actually, to be real, the Dothraki are gone. They all, wow, well, spoiler, but they all got <laughs> they all got murdered by like, the, by the, start watching the, show the army of the living dead last night, and then they actually also became members. Are those the snow people? Those are the army of the living dead. Basically, oh, okay, yeah, it's all these like fucking re- I've seen like a preview, but reanimated right. dead corpses. It's a whole thing, really. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've heard good things. I mean, Drake, Drake shouted it out in his awards thing, right? He so did. He know, shouted it out. Apparently, Aria. it's a good show. Wait till you find out about Arya. If you watch the whole thing, it's a pretty wild ride because Arya is like this kid, and then she becomes a fucking assassin. Oh, yeah? She learns how to be this warrior and kill people and stuff, and then all of a sudden she's like banging a dude in like the the episode from the other day, and it's weird as shit because you've like been watching the show for like eight seasons. What so do you she mean was she's like banging a dude. I'm sorry. She like seduces this guy. Oh, she, like, okay. They, she, don't, they don't show her. She plays like the manly role in the in the in the courting. Yeah, actually, okay. she does. She really like kind of just takes this dude and just drags him and just fucking gets him naked and just Sounds bangs him. Fucking, like some hardcore. <laughs> shout know, shout out to Ar- Aria. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why it was funny that Drake shouted it out because he was represent. He was like, you know, he's like, I want some of that supporting women. Oh, okay. You know, that's what that was. Yeah. All right. So, so were you? Uh, okay, you're 24, but you you were just kind of in and out of prison. What was the longest bid you ever Not did? Not prison, I would say. Just oh, like yeah. juvenile stuff. No, it was never too crazy. Right. Um, what do you mean, sir? Uh, what was you, the longest? Was yeah. There? Yeah. What was the longest little? No, stint I, like boys' did? camp. It was like eight months. Oh Jesus yeah. Christ! Eight it's months. Like, those boot, like you know where you shine your boots and you gotta like march and shit, that kind of stuff. Did you uh, have jobs along the way? When I was in boys' camp, or like no, or like, like as a teenager. In between, yeah, like jobs when you were younger and stuff. No, I was always in trouble. I didn't really. I didn't get my first like job job till I was eighteen. Really? Yeah. Where Where was that? My first job was like fucking uh, <laughs> like five. Um, I used to. It was like um, cashiering. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Where at a grocery store? Nah, my friends. Uh, he had like a dispensary, and I would just be like the cashier guy. Oh shit! Sure. That's a very California thing that your first job is basically selling weed. Yeah, but I was like, no, nah, I was just more like, talk. I would just be like at the front. I wasn't like. Okay, you weren't like measuring out. Nah, the, the I wasn't like the fucking shit. in the back, fucking with the clippers and shit. I saw foamies back there, like fucking, you know, snipping and shit. That, like, that, cool but that's there. kind of a big aspirational thing in um in California as well. Is you could grow up and be a trimmer. Yeah, apparently, yeah, I know, yeah. People, like, have the dreams of it and shit, too. Yeah, people want to be a trimmer. That's like making it into Harvard out here. Yeah, a lot of people are just opening, like, didn't Post Malone just open it, or he just started a brand he of weed? He started a, a brand, and it has the funniest name. What's it called? Shaboinks. Shaboinks. Yeah. That's how you reel in the customers, Shaboinks. You a Post Shout Malone fan? Nah, his music's cool. Will you be smoking Shaboinks? Yeah, if he wants to smoke with me, fuck. I think he's on he's on Republic, so. Oh, um, see, there you go. Hopefully I see him in the hallway one day. What? Hey, no. man, pass that Shaboink pack. <laughs> I Shaboink. just can't wait. I'm going to hit up Post Malone, because like, I'm going to abuse the fact that I can DM him on Twitter and just be like, bro, Shaboinks. Does he reply? Get it to me now. Um, He has replied before. So? Yeah, I'm going to try to DM him in a, in a minute. I should have got that interview when I could, because he's been oh, yeah, here I mean, before. 
I never didn't... actually interviewed him, but he's been here, and he probably would have been down like when he was yeah, here. Yeah, you should have just said, like, hey, man, fucking... Mm, posty. <laughs> the one that got away. I could, probably, maybe, I could still away. fight to try to get it, but who knows? I don't know. Um, so were you, were you making music all along? Nah, I just started making music maybe, like, a little over two years ago. Yeah. And uh, what what direction? <laughs> I got you. What uh, what direction did you want to go in, like musically, or what, what was musically? your stuff like at first? Oh yeah, my music. At first, it was always just like for some reason I would always just um, I always just like upbeat kind of like it was always just like a gangster pop kind of vibe. Mm. I always just like like pop music or like more. I always like like the mainstream kind of vibe. Right. Compared to like my homies that were rapping about just like gangster shit. Yeah. Like you know the more like I mean I I rap like that too, but I always just for some reason like. Like how Bottoms Up is, it's more like a beat kind of poppy. It's mainstream got a bouncy thing, thing to yeah. it. Have you always been a fan of uh, pop music? Um, I mean, I won't be like bumping into my ride, fucking cruising. Well, shit, we, but it's we, cool. we, we shout out like, Katy Perry, you know? Yeah, she's cool. Don't forget or uh, fucking California Girls or whatever. I mean, it's a cool song. <sighs> yeah, what, what I really hate Katy Perry for though is when she did that video with uh with Juicy J. And Juicy J is like not, he's not even in the video, dude. It's no. really, it's kind of offensive. It's kind of like, oh, so you go get this like older black gentleman to be in your video, but then you barely even give him fucking camera time. I didn't see the video. And I, it's like, I get yeah. it. He's old. And, like, it. He's and like, you're oh. hot. You're hot. So it's like, it makes sense that she's you would. She's like, she's not that much younger than Juicy J, is she? I don't know. Juicy J has been around forever. 3 Six Mafia know. put out their first project in 1995. Fuck. I was born in 95. Yeah. I was born in 83. Okay. So mm. draw, draws a line in the sand. 